try the camp for yeah. yeah. One army that was there between the Israeli Prime Minister and Indian Prime Minister was there to see for everybody. Made fairly good international lives. I think it is it is the continuation of a small step towards that friendship that this kind of festival also helps in making us understand the Israeli culture, Israeli people, and uh, we, there are a lot to be inspired about them. Just before entering, the director of both institutes was saying about something about water. Water conservation, water wars, which are going to, going to happen in India, possibly in other parts of the world also. There, I think it is Israel to whom we should turn to. They know how to conserve water, they know how to attract water, maybe. They know how to make sure that we recycle water and uh, we use water in a manner that uh, that is most technologically advanced and scientifically you know, tested. So besides these films, there are so many other engagements that that this country and Israel is definitely going to have in years to come. And this is one small step <coughs> in which ICAF is able to interact with, uh, with the consulate of Israel at Bangalore and see that the best films come <coughs> year after year. I thank you one and all for coming and uh, welcome to the festival. Thank you very much. Rahul Hashwat, I think I think I pronounce it properly. Yeah. <coughs> Gaudi Institute President, Mr. Kandil. It gives me a great pleasure to be here. Very special pleasure because many times we say it's pleasure, but this time it's really a pleasure. Because for most of us, Israel is a country of that we see with, I mean, with such a great, uh, I mean, admiration and what were brought up such a small country with so much of opponents. I don't think any country in the world has done like this. They have far exceeded in most of the industries and their growth is phenomenal. In fact, previously they used to compare, Japan used to grow in a big way after the Second World War. But Israel has beaten every country in the world we see you with pride, jealous, happiness, and everything. Because we would jealous in sense, we would like to see that something is that we learn from you, especially the water conservation and how the water is stored. With such a limited source of water, they're able to do anything. In fact, nowadays we have started adopting slowly their water conservatism and as to how to use the water for using for our agriculture. Although this is not the main subject of, the, of today, but we always look at Israel with an astonishment. So in fact, this brings us a greater pleasure to be here today. I would like to, some of the films that we have seen from in Israel in many of the international film festivals are really good in quality. Of course, they have the limitations with regard to the movies. We hope that we'll have a very good viewing for the Ebosec films, all the films, go to talk. Welcome again. Happy to have um, for, uh, I don't know how often we have the Israel Film Festival now here in our auditorium. I'm very happy about that. And um, Mr. Cannon, I can tell you that we don't lend only our auditorium, but also our hearts. <laughs> you know that we are real, really uh, film lovers, as is Indo's Inner Appreciation Foundation and the people here present, Mr. Suresh, etc. So uh, wonderful that you, we can do this uh, together. A very warm welcome to the Consul General, Miss uh, Jael. I hope I pronounced it right. 
we had a nice chat before in my uh, office and I learned that Jael is in the Bible um, a woman that has a lot of courage, like so many women there in the Bible. And um, I got in these few minutes uh, the impression that also the Consul General who is with us tonight has a lot of courage. And we also found out that our last um, station, let's say, before uh, Chennai and Bangalore in her case, was Mexico City. If we had more time to chat with the, each other, I'm sure we would find out uh, more things. You also have two kids, I have also. So I don't want to go too much into anecdotes. I'm looking forward to some nice welcome words from your side and then, of course, the most important, two good films. Thank you. Shalom, as we say in Hebrew. I have to say I'm very happy to be here tonight. It's always good to be between friends and especially that I found out that I have old friends here, so this was a very nice surprise. And for me to come to Chennai every time, it's a huge, I would say, enjoy. I'm very happy to be here. And always I come go back to Bangalore with a big smile. And I think tonight the event that we have is a wonderful one. You've been speaking here about Israel and how wonderful it is and about water. And you know, I'm a professional diplomat, so if you will ask me to speak about water, I will speak now for an hour, I will give you all kinds of statistics, how we do it, why we do it, etc. But we are not here to speak today about water, we are here to speak about culture. And of course, without water it will never happen. But good for us, we had enough water, so our directors and actors been very lucky to create in a new country. Actually, our film industry is very young. The state of Israel is going to be 70 on next April, almost like India. And our film industry grow little by little, step by step. But I think today it became a very successful one. You know, if we are talking about reading the news in the newspaper or on the TV, when an Israeli series, a television series, or a film is being s successful and some Hollywood producer is buying it, everyone is happy and that, you know, gets the first headlines in the newspaper. Today we have a very famous Israeli actress, Gal Gadot, that plays a Wonder Woman, so everyone is going very proud. But today we will not see Wonder Woman, I think we will see better movies than that. And I think you spoke about the good relationship between Israel and India and about the successful visit of the Prime Minister Modi in Israel. And of course, many agreements have been signed, but there is one very interesting agreement that not many are talking about, about cultural exchanges. And I really do hope that one of those exchanges will be to see a great director's delegation going from here to Israel, to Israel, hopefully in the next few months. So who knows, maybe the next Israeli film festival will be the Israel Hindu Film Festival, co production of Israel and Indian movies, hopefully in Tamil as well. So we have something to look forward. So thank you very much again for having me tonight. And I hope that you will enjoy our movies. And please remember what you see in the movies. This is the Israeli society for real. So maybe it will give you also a good excuse to come and visit us in Israel. <coughs> so I can finish my things with two things. Next movie is in, I'm going to speak Hebrew and Tamil. And I'm going to meet all of you in Israel. So thank you very much. It's a very good culture relationship. Then we may request the Council General. Why can't you think about bringing a delegation from Israel to India? That also can be done. That, that can be done for our Chennai International Film Festival. Normally we do like that also. With, with a package of film. Because we are planning to have some kind of country focus for each, each festival. So that can be done also. Even this, uh, the famous director, you know, Amit Kishai, the famous director from Israel. That also we can be done. That's what we think. Thank you to your excellency. So on behalf of Indochina Appreciation Foundation, we say, uh, give an express sincere thanks to the Consul General, Mr. Shepard, as Mr. Suresh, who have been able to come over here in spite of the 
various activities. I hope you will enjoy the film. Thank you friends, please enjoy it also. Thank you.